<sighs> Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. Since Warlords of Draenor was several years ago now, and the garrison can still be useful, I figured a quick refresher on how to get your garrison started would be handy. By no means is this a guide for making gold or how to best use your garrison, it's just a look at how to get everything unlocked and ready. First and foremost, you've got to unlock the garrison itself. I do recommend doing garrison setup stuff before level 50, just because it's a big boost of easy XP. I cover that part in my 1 to 15 leveling guides, if you're interested. If you're level 50 or higher, you can take the Ashran portal in the faction capital portal room and fly over to your garrison area. You can see the quest on your map if you have trivial quests tracked. And as a note, the setup of your garrison is nearly identical for both factions, so you'll see me switch between both in this guide. Once you're over there, you'll be picking up a quest from Velen or Thrall. Do all of the quests that follow those until the garrison is built into its first stage. Then there's still plenty more to do after that, so let's keep going. Pick up the quests from Barros and Murad for Alliance, or the ones from Gazlo and Rakan for Horde, and then just do all those. After that, Barros or Gazlo will have a new quest for you. And don't worry about any other quests from other NPCs besides them and the mission table specialist at this point. You won't need them right now. Just follow those quests you're doing now until you've rescued Olin Umberhide as Horde or Kiana Moonshadow as Alliance, and you've sent them on their first mission at the mission table. Now you're done with what I consider to be the intro quests for the garrison, and you can start unlocking the stuff inside the garrison itself. The next order of business before anything else is getting your garrison to rank 2. This is simply a matter of getting 200 resources. As Alliance, you can easily get the resources you need rather quickly. There are 8 treasures within the garrison itself, which will likely get you what you need. So watch the screen close now, I'm going to show you where those are. The first 4 are Pipper's Buried Treasure. 2 are behind buildings within the enclosed part of the garrison. One is in front of a tree, outside the front of the garrison. And the last is around the burial stone thingies behind the garrison toward the shore that you came in at. Down in the shore area, there's a treasure beneath the ship, one inside the cave, and one on the teeny island in the water here. The last treasure is back at your garrison, but in the pond area under the water in the cave. You should have all 200 resources now, or you're at least really close. If you need a bit more, you can either loot some treasures around Shadowmoon, or just wait a day for your garrison stocks to gather. A tip for the resources that generate for you here is they cap at 500. You'll want to gather them every few days or so in order to keep getting more. Now for the Horde, you're not so lucky. You have three treasures within the garrison. One out here in the snow next to a tree, one right next to the wall outside the garrison here, and then one down in a cave in the pond area under the water. These don't get you even close to what you need, and unless I'm missing something, there are no more treasures within the garrison area that I have found. So you can either go treasure hunting throughout Frostfire and the other zones, or you can do what I do and just wait a few days. Just like the Alliance, your garrison stash is capped at 500, so check in on that every few days. Once you've got the garrison up to rank 2, now you'll have a quest to upgrade it to rank 3. Rank 3, however, wants a whopping 2,000 resources and 5,000 in gold. So like before, you can either keep cycling the mission table or just wait. In the meantime though, you've got things you can do now to get the rest of the garrison up to par. First, check out the few open plots you now have. This is where you can start putting in buildings that you can use. Make sure to take a moment to read through each building and each of their stages because they all offer different stuff. I don't bother with gold making in my garrison, I just like using it as a home base. So here's a few of the ones I like to use this stage. I like the storehouse as one of my small ones because it will offer a bank, guild bank, and void storage. I like the trading post as one of my medium plots because it will have an auction house that you can unlock. I've done a video on that if you're curious. 
And I like the Mage Tower or Spirit Lodge for the large plot because you can open portals to each of the zones in Draenor, some of which are close to the raids. Of course, though, all of those cost resources, except for the trading post, so you'll just have to put them down when you're able. When you do get them down, though, and they've been built, each one will have a quest that you'll do to unlock its features. They're super duper easy, though, like how the storehouse one wants you to just collect some boxes around the place. Now to do some rank 2 buildings, you'll need to buy the plans from the blueprints vendor near the drafting table. If you find for some reason you're missing one, like say the salvage yard, you may need to unlock it through questing content. That one specifically you get from doing pinch whistle quests in Spires of Iraq, but if you find you need others, your best bet is to find it on Wowhead. There are a lot of blueprints. There are also other plots that you can unlock that don't need to be placed. The herb garden, the mines, and the fishing shack. Each one of those also has a small quest that you pick up at each spot, and those are also really easy. If you don't see the fishing one, learn fishing from the trainer, and then it'll show up. So after all that, now it's just a matter of getting enough resources to hit rank 3. When you finally do, now we can do more stuff. You've got more plots open for more buildings, and you can now also do the pet menagerie quest to unlock that building. Even if you don't want to do the pet battle part, I recommend doing at least the first one, which is just a short fetch quest. I'm sure you also noticed you've got a quest from Varian or Vol'jin. Take that quest, and now you'll begin a new series. This is what will lead you to unlocking both your shipyard and the Tanan jungle outpost, which also unlocks a portal to the outpost at Ashram. This quest chain isn't very long and it's super easy to do these days, so it'll probably take you around 20-ish minutes. You'll go get your new ship right, build your docks, go set up the Tanan outpost, and then come back and build some ships. Make sure you continue the quests by picking up the next one at the shipyard foreman so you can start getting your shipyard all ship shape. After doing a few mission table quests, you'll end up running into another quest that wants resources by the end of it. 1,000 resources and 1,000 gold. Yep, our shipyard has ranks as well, just like your garrison. Not as much as the rank 3 garrison was, but since you just upgraded that, you likely won't have enough to do this quest right now. So, more waiting game. As a note, this quest used to require you to do 15 naval missions. And since I'm doing this new now, I notice it doesn't seem to be listed. So, that's a nice change. Once you've got that done, don't feel too accomplished just yet. The next quest, which is also the last one, is to get to rank 3. And that one wants 2,500 resources and 2,500 gold. You know the drill by now. This quest also required 25 treasure naval missions back in the day, but if it's like the previous one, you may not have to do that part. But once you've got that taken care of, congrats! Your shipyard and garrison are now both rank 3, and you should have access to everything. If you're wondering why you want your shipyard leveled up like that, it can be for multiple reasons. There's heirloom rings, pets, and a mount tied to it. And you can unlock a personal black market auction house. Hmm. Keep an eye out for the black market journal as a treasure mission. This is nice to have. Now it's just a matter of getting the rest of your buildings leveled and all decked out. A note on that part. Once you get your smaller buildings to rank 2, most of them have the option to add a follower to increase the output of whatever they make. If you haven't quested through Draenor at all, you likely won't have anyone. Most of these followers are tied to specific quests, so the best thing to do here is to look up who the follower is for the specific building that you chose, and you'll find what quests they're tied to. There's a handful of other little quests around the garrison that you can do as well. Like, you can unlock the jukebox and collect music from old content to play in your garrison. So, certainly pick up everything and see what's available. Make sure to talk to a lot of the NPCs too, because some of them are useful. There's a primal trader vendor, as well as Seer Kazal, who cues you for solo Warlords of Draenor LFR. And I think that about does it. That's everything you need to know about getting your garrison set up and ready for you to use it however you please. 
I know some folks still use it to make gold, so certainly check that out from other content creators if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte. This is the part where I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. Doing at least one of those gets my videos recommended more. The higher these numbers are, the more YouTube likes me, and that helps me bring you more coffee-fueled content. I thank you so much for any support you choose to give.